All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on uh, for another edition of Gruel Dinosaurs. You may have uh, remembered us playing this uh, donation deck about five days or, or so ago, and um, we have another donation to get it back um, on the schedule. So here we go. Um, so same same 75 we played here a little bit ago, uh, which remember like this kind of deck even though it looks like it's like a higher curve, this is this deck is all about attacking. So we are trying to get our creatures out early. Like we're, this deck's a lot more aggressive than what it looks because we have cards like Otepic Huntmaster, which did a lot for us last time of not only reducing our dinosaur's cost but giving them haste, um, which is really nice. We get to be attacking with these these things pretty early. Um, Drover the Mighty also helps us speed up. We have our burn spells that can go upstairs. Um, so that's why we're playing something like Lightning Strike instead of Lava Coil, because we want to be able to go upstairs, because we are an aggressive deck here. We're not trying to grind people out. Um, if we do need, need to grind people out, though, we have some Domries um, that can minus and get us some more cards, uh, especially if we're playing against maybe like a control deck where we need to find our Carnage Tyrants kind of thing. So that's what we got. Let's smash. We have this awesome Galta art. Got the promo. That looks cool. Here we go. Time to smash. Time to smash. Ugh. We get to play first, so lucky. We've not been very lucky with our <clears throat> land drawings. Lots of mulligans since our since our first league. We've had a lot, a lot of mulligans the last two leagues. So we, we're not really doing anything on the second turn anyway. So I, I feel like Commune is a pretty reasonable card. Hmm... Go Reggie. You know, this looks like this is going to be Nexus. Um, we're going to have to be pretty fast. So not having a mana creature against Nexus is rough. So I'm, I'm going to be firing off this lightning strike at him. Because then planning on playing Ripjaw on 4, Reggie on 5. Uh, so not going to have time to... To do anything else with this lightning strike, let's just fire it off. I don't know. Honestly, I mean, we're not killing our opponent on five then. Kind of want to actually hold the lightning strike, actually. Because with, with us casting the lightning strike, then our opponent knows that um, they have the three less lives, so maybe, maybe they, like, go down... Like, maybe because, like, maybe they have a fog in their hand, but they go down to three because they don't know that they're going to be dead. Um, maybe they play a Hydroid Crisis as, like, a 3-3 a three, three blocker that we get to kill that helps us get in some damage. I'm going to just hold on to the Lightning Strike. If we had a lot more spells, like, if we had, like, another Regisaur Alpha after this one, then we could fire it off, but... Don't want this getting countered, but we can't just sit back forever anyway. I mean, we just have to play our spell. We just gotta hope they don't counter spell. All right, good. Bzz. Yeah, the chance of reclamation getting banned tomorrow is incredibly slim, but I would be very happy myself. See, like, for example, maybe they just take this. Because they think they're safe. And now we have the double burn spell that can kill them. Like, maybe they had a fog in hand, but just felt like taking that. 
All right, I can kind of wait for them to play anything, and then I play Shock in response. <laughs> You'd be happy if Curious Obsession got banned. <laughs> that will not be a card that gets banned. Now, yes, they, they, they have Sinister Sabotages in the main deck. And we even had them mill over a Frilled Mystic. Yeah, they usually have Sabotages. They weren't going to have two counter spells with only three mana. Alright, we vines in. Spellbreaker for some ramp. I'm sorry, for some haste. Spellbreaker for some haste. Um, Domri out. Stomp out. Strike and, strike and Shock are not necessarily so good either. Basically, I, I wonder if I want, like, Vivian's the card I'm not sure about, but I, I think I want Vivian. Vivian, you know, destroys the enchantments. That's, like, what Vivian does, but Vivian is slow. It's just, like, five mana disenchant. I wonder if, like, we're just supposed to be so fast that, like, that, that's just not something that we really play. We have, like, the Cinder Vines anyway. Um, you know, Lightning Strike's probably the card I cut. As Lightning Strikes just 3 damage, so is just 3 damage better than 5 mana Disenchant? Um, I don't know. So this is 60. So basically, do I want to play Vivian over Strike? What do y'all think? Vivian or Lightning Strike? I'm thinking Lightning Strike. No, Tyrant's good. Um, they can't counter Tyrant. That's good. And we have we have eight cards that give Tyrant haste, remember. We have a bunch of haste stuff. Alright, we'll go Lightning Strike. Strike. Allosaurus is still a 4 mana 5-5. Five five. Um, 4 mana 5-5 five five is a good body. Yeah, Vivian does get countered. Oh, man. If we just had the two-mana ramp creature, this hand is nuts. I kind of want to keep it, though. I mean, if we don't draw a ramp creature, we're, we're just dead, though. I guess I should mulligan. Yeah, I guess I should just mulligan. Man, I kind of want to keep this. Inbreaker says Mole. Freak says Mole. Hmm. Not fast enough, huh? Well, if this hand gets lands, we have the Drover into Ripjaw into Reggie. I think it's probably better than a five. Because like this, this has high upside with these cards. So I'm going to keep the upside here. Okay, that's that's perfect. That's a land. We need it. Like two more lands after that. Nice. That's the start. Not a land. Yay, no reclamation. All 
All right, I'm, I'm calling like Frilled Mystic here for the opponent. I'm just I'm just crashing it with for seven. If I because if I play Registor Alpha, I don't get to it, and it gets counter. I don't get to attack with the Drover. I guess I did let them. I did let them. Play Chemistry's Insight, though. Hmm. Frilled Mystic would counter this and block Drover. What does our opponent have? Hopefully not everything. Okay, not looking too good for us, but it's only three cards in hand. It's not a lot of cards. Hope they just draw a lot of counter spells. We could beat counter spells. Uh, jellyfish. To the ten. Need a land to be able to attack through a jellyfish for lethal. Ooh, there's a land. I could have gone... Like, if I go alpha, we'd have lethal, but I want to make sure we just don't get countered. Oh, right! Carney T doesn't have haste! Duh, I don't have the alpha in play. It doesn't have haste. No! I don't know why I was thinking that thing would have haste. <laughs> Whoever designed Reclamation needs to play best of one against it for 72 hours straight. That's punishment. Hmm. Yeah, I, I didn't burn... I didn't save the burn spells this time because I had like the alpha and carnage tyrant in my hand of like as like the the next curve parts of the curve um but that that may have cost us they may may not have used that fog and gone down to six and then we could have had the double strike that certainly may have cost us I, th I think I probably played around frilled mystic too much in this game you know like you know hindsight I, I was trying to play around Frilled Mystic more and um, probably was unnecessary to do that. I mean, now that they've drawn a whole lot more cards, they could have, like, Mystic or something now. Yeah, so I think I should have just jammed the Alpha earlier and not play around Frilled Mystic as much as I did. I wish a girl spellbreaker stopped fog. So if they're at 16 and they block Carnage Tyrant, they're taking, uh, uh, yeah, taking 18. So that's more than 16. So if they don't have a Fog or anything else, they had something else.
Yes, Root Snare is a is a fog. They, yes, the original card is was a single green mana. Um, which was prevent all combat damage, and it's it's a card called Fog. We are dead. Yeah, I'll just concede. I don't necessarily like conceding real early with donation decks, but it is over. Alright, let's go. Yep, let's go to the next game. Now we get to be on the play. Um, we, we're hoping for a Tepecant Master. That's the card that we want to see the most. Of course, we want lands. We want lands, Hunt Master, and Dinos. That's all we want. That's what we want. Oh, we should get Puppy? Yeah, Hawkeye's just sleeping back there. I could get Puppy. After this magic horse. No, <laughs> we have lands, Hunt Master, and Dinos. Uh, I wasn't specific on the lands. Man. Gosh, we had to mulligan, but we were so close. Okay. Oh, but I can't I can't cast my commune next turn. Because otherwise that will go away. So Huntmaster does not help out with like spell breakers. We have to just hopefully just draw a land here. If not, then we have to commune. But we're really hoping just to top deck this land and be able to go Ripjaw. Uh, that land was really, really clutch that we needed. We're gonna be stuck on mana, you know, like mana's gonna be a big bottleneck for us. Ooh. That's a good card. Especially they use their into the royal. Oh my gosh, I just used my lightning strike. Uh why does life have to be like this? Why can't life be better than this? We like draw our like good card against Wilderness Reclamation. Everything looks like it's gonna be going okay. And then just have a biogenic ooze. It's not a fun deck to lose to. But
honestly just don't think I can win from here. I don't I don't think I have anything else. Like I, I needed that lightning strike to kill the biogenic ooze that turn. Um I mean, Galta? Galta's a chance. Galta's big time. Galta gives us life. Yeah, they're down to eight. Yeah, we we could draw Galta. That's our chance. All right, come on. We need Galta. 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 Yeah, you're right. you're right. They are. Holding up fogs now. Or Frilled Mystic. Yeah, we just had so much mana to... That's a, the thing about their deck. Their deck puts so much pressure on us that I just, you know, need to fire the strike off. Um, and then not having the strike later on. Can't, I just can't be ooze. They don't need to play another spell. I need. I mean, I guess if I draw more burn spells, if I draw like lightning strikes, also they can just kind of go upstairs. All right, so they're playing Nexus of Fate. I guess I can't I can't even make this block. I can't even kill the ooze. So at least we're at least a nexus doesn't mean we're not exactly dead yet. Oh come on, Galta. Come on, Galta, one time. Galta! Alright, no counter spell, no counter spell, no counter spell. They just have a fog. No counter spell or fog.
I mean, I'm dead to like the three attackers anyway. So might as well just attack out. Because we're dead if they have a fog. All right, they are, they're looking at their hand quite suspiciously. I mean, I could just sit back and play D. Does that make any sense to sit back and not attack? Like if I make if I make an attack, they're dead if they don't have fog. If they have fog, I'm dead. If I make an attack, what do y'all think? Do I flip that coin that's probably not going to for us? Because they they know they were just putting themselves dead to like any dinosaur. So like if they're making that attack, they have to have a fog, right? All right, we'll just swing. Waiting means nothing. All right, we tried. Yeah, like our only things that we could have would be like lightning strikes, something. Yeah, I don't really see us winning that game anyway. So we tried. We drew the Galta. That was cool. But using that lightning strike when I did ended up losing us that game. Biogenic Ooze, man. We had, we had like the rest of their deck covered with those Cinder Vines. Why did it have to be the Ooze? We honestly were like looking good against everything. Ex against, uh, sorry, except Ooze right there. And obviously they had use. What a tilt. Alright, next game. We got turn three, Hasty Raptor. No, we, we did not have any Savage Stomps in our deck. Jund Warriors. This could be bad for us. They get like Chain Whirler combo. They do Chain Whirler status combo. It'll be, it's gonna be bad for us. Yeah, we gave ourselves the, the best chance. Oh yeah, you wanted me to go grab Puppy. I forgot I forgot about grabbing Puppy because it's that long game. I kind of think I should have blocked Thorn Lieutenant. That doesn't really matter. I don't need more Huntmasters. So not the time to be drawn Otepic Huntmasters. You want to trade your spellbreaker for a dino? No. Oh, you're be gonna careful. help when this is through. I'm all right, Nada. Yeah, double block would have had the the hot master trade with the spellbreaker uh, through the colossus, um, and then we would not have been able to play the. You know, if we double block, our, our next turn is pretty bad. We don't get to play the Ripjaw Raptor. Or, sorry, so sorry, the uh, Registrar Alpha. But we would have had our 1 2 trade with their 3 3.
What do you want? 4-4? Four, 3-3 four, three, three, Haster? All right, here we get to just trade the spellbreaker for the for the two three. Better than trading it for a three three. Um, oh, you're gonna hurt when this is through. Well, let's put a counter on this. Gain a couple life. I'm just saving the Hotmaster to be able to play next turn with the counter. You know, playing as a... <clears throat> um, as a 2-3 isn't spectacular. Okay, there you go. Alright, so 4-4... Four, four. Alright, so if they have another collision... They're looking at, or I guess it's it's Colossus. Colossus is that card. Sorry, they have another Colossus. They're looking at an 8-6. Um, so if I triple block, basically, that's what I was thinking. If we, if we triple block, it does kill all of our creatures, which is kind of bad for us. Um, so let's just double block with these. I mean, I could just single block. So if it's 8... Domri takes five with a single block. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to single block. Domri can take five. Because the problem with the double block is if they have a lightning strike, they can lightning strike the Death Gorge Scavenger, and then I'm just having this 3 3, uh, chumping the 4 4. Uh, Coffee Master, what do you mean? What was what's the problem? Uh, things are about to get real rowdy. Alright. Now we can get another 2-3. Um, do I want to play this as a 3-2? Oh, it's it's on there. It's probably not one of the very first decks. I think I used the list from, you know, whenever we played it previously. So the list is going to be some some number of days old. So you have to like you know find it. Um, but it it's it's on there. Four days ago. There you go. Thanks, JRC. Sitting back and being patient and trying to ultimate this Domri. Whatever happens next, it's gonna hurt ya. Yeah, this is gonna hurt ya. I guess I could have gone counter and then a Tepic Hunt Master give it haste. But we still have the two blockers for Domri. Even though Hot Master has a chump. So they have to like deal with Domri and deal with this Galta that's killing him. Alright, coil coil. Um spellbreakers are probably good. Just four fours. Four fours are nice. Um, that's not good. I don't love Death Gorge Scavenger. It doesn't block too well. That's certainly a Galta pleasure. 
Um, Galta could be a two of. The thing is, is Galta has like a, a really bad downside. Like whenever you play against removal heavy decks, it's it is pretty bad. Should I take out the shocks? Shock doesn't seem to kill things. I can kill Kral Harpooner, but I'm assuming Kral Harpooner is out of the deck. They have a lot of three threes. Hmm. So I'm not not sold on Domri. I don't know. Domri was good for us there. But you know, if we're behind uh, and our opponent's like attacking us down and everything, the Domri's not gonna not gonna save us. It's only kind of good when we've stabilized. What is the deal with double forest, double mountain? I guess I keep this. We need two green sources to get to Ripjaw. Those are not good hands. Um, come on, another mountain? We have all the dual lands in here, don't we? Yeah. Okay. That's a dual land. That's good. That's good. Green source. One more green source. Yeah, we haven't had the best luck today either with our opening hands. Really like to draw this green source and play a Riptar Raptor. Really would. Raptor. Baby. Raptor baby. No, Unclaimed Territory is not good enough for this deck. You see, like, it wouldn't help us cast, like, Huntmaster or some other more difficult cards. Oh, no. Uh, Phoenix is unbeatable. Yeah, that card's kind of unbeatable. I need this card or this card. I need either one of these. Are they just, uh, just attack? Have them block and then bolt? Do you think they just block there? Like, if I, I mean, I just didn't attack, because if I'm on the other side, like, with the, all this power in play and me at 13, I'm not, I'm taking four on the other side, but maybe they would have blocked. Um. But yeah, like, if I was on the other side, I would not have been blocking. I would have just been going to 16 and, and having all these other creatures and everything. But, yeah, that's, could have been something to do there. Oh, right, I can't bolt a Spellbreaker on their turn. Let's see how they attack. Just with that. Hmm. 
Um, I can't play Carnage Tyrant and attack with Carnage Tyrant. I mean, I can play Carnage Tyrant, but I can't attack with Carnage Tyrant. Because that, that taps my Huntmaster, and then I don't have enough blockers. There wasn't a good option for the, the instant, the lightning strike. Um, Okay, that's what I want to see. Alright, so all we have to do is just stay alive. Be dead to a shock. <laughs> All right, one one takes us down. Right, like if, if I try to lightning strike that thing, they could they could colossus in response. Um Let's get these scavengers back in against Phoenix. Domri out. Maybe two scavenger. Yeah, let's get two scavengers over those Domries. All right, not the not my favorite hand uh, without having any kind of acceleration on turn two, but we'll we'll see if we get there. If not, we'll just have uh, removal that we'll be a little more judicious with here with us having the slower hand. Um, it's not a great turn for commune. I think I want to be able to shoot like their haste creature next turn. We can like the only three mana dino that I could get is uh, the scavenger. Give them a one one. If I strike if I strike this, they get a one one. Um Now Vivian's just too slow in this matchup. Vivian killed Phoenix, you know, if it exiled a flyer, maybe it get rid of the Phoenix for good. Oh, yeah, this deck is fun. This is a pretty good matchup, too, like, with, with, with the cards our opponent's playing, the cards that we have. This is a fun matchup. All right, we need to get a land drop. No red mana. I'm of course not attacking my 5-1 into their 1-1, one, one, obviously, but we're uh, getting that thing out of there. Now, 5-5 five, five is kind of the biggest thing on the battlefield. Okay. All right, though, I won't forget Puppy. All right, we ate, ate two things. We got another 5-5. Five, five. They can come on up here. 
So like, do we, we could like try to wait for a kicker with this. Um, but I, I don't think that that's, like we need two more mana to kick. I don't think that's the, the best play. If we could only play one deck in the meta today, what would it be and why? Um, yes, the spell is cast if it countered. If it's countered, yes. As long as you, yeah, casting the spell can certainly have it be countered. Siege Gang. Um, if I could only play one deck... That's tough. That's a tough call there. Um, I think it would either be Naya Legends or... Oh gosh, I really like this new Naya Hawatli deck. You know, choose either Naya Legends, Naya Huatli, or Grixis Discard. I have a lot of fun playing Grixis Discard, too. So, the... the so, Lightning Striking the Siege Gang Commander would, would make sure that our... They can't just, like, shoot the Territorial Allosaurus. A bunch. But, you know, just getting Carnage Tyrant down... It's usually a good plan. Um, So they they need Thorn Lieutenant to match up with Carnage Tyrant. That's their plan. Is Thorn Lieutenant becomes a six seven uh, after activating, or that's not their plan. And so I was gonna let them activate Thorn Lieutenant and then. Um, And then respond to the activation with the strike on the Thorn Lieutenant and then have the Carnage Tyrant travel over. Yeah, Esper du Duplicate was was really cool. It was really good from earlier. Um, uh, come on, help me out a little bit, deck. Remember when we were, didn't hit our fourth land drop, so we had to commune in to grab a land? We have not drawn a spell since then. So they triple block. I strike the phoenix. We kill their, their two tokens and... Hit them down to three. So they could shoot shoot me with one of the tokens. If they do that, I'm at twelve. They have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Crap, they have lethal. They actually have lethal. If I attack with Carnage Tyrant and strike the Phoenix after a triple block, they have lethal. So I think I do have to keep Tyrant back. It's not a good situation for us. So if I if I attack and they triple block and they play it correctly, I'm just just kind of dead. So 
So I attack, they triple block. If I just let damage happen, they just trade. I have to strike the Phoenix to try to, to try to keep my thing alive. They throw one of the goblins that's blocking at me to deal two to me for 12. And they untap and they have six power here. Plus four is 10. Oh no, they're two off. Oh no, they're two off, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. No, they have eight power. They have eight power plus the four from Thorn Lieutenant. So no, they do. No, they do have lethal. Yes. So yes, they do have lethal. It's not. Yeah. So it is lethal. Am I winning if I just sit back though? I don't know. Joe, if it was lethal if I attack. If they if they play correctly, I'm dead. But I guess y'all are saying that they my opponent timed out, so I should have just attacked because they timed out. It's like they were disconnected. So they wouldn't have been able to block, I guess, is that we're saying. But yeah, it looks looks like maybe they just they did, did get just disconnected though. Yeah, so got the victory. I feel bad for the opponent. You know, we had a really we had a really good good match there. Those are three like good games and everything. Um let me go grab puppy really quick. Yeah, that doesn't feel so good for a win. Come here, puppy. Uh, the the opponent timed out and, and just disconnected, um, and lost after a, a real good match. If I play the mountain to hold up shock, we'll have to shock in with the stomping ground later. Keep the flexibilities. The two life's probably not going to matter too much against Watery Grave Dot deck, but oh no, that thing's a one three. I'm going to need to strike that. Um, have two dogs, Puppy and Harvey, and Hawkeye. Okay. One kitty. Puppy stay out in the living room. Ugh. Why do you keep wanting to tuck your head so bad, puppy? You're just like wanting to cuddle up. Hi to everybody. Here you go. Here, I'll sit a little more straight. There you go. Uh, there you go. There you go. Um. So I think I just want to play the Hot Master here. Maybe get hasty, hasty dinos that they don't expect. Yeah.
I forgot we'd be able to actually cast the scavenger too. That's that's just a, a good play. All right, so next turn we can have like Ripjaw go in here. What are you doing? The wild yes, wasn't meant Vivian said. to be contained. Balance comes. Hmm. Do I want to play Galta yet or not? Nah? These both haste. I, mean, I could just attack them and let them tick up Vivian again. Yeah, they could take out Vivian one more time. It's like, if they take out Vivian and find Jade Light Ranger, um, is that really that big a deal? I got 11 coming in, putting them down to 10. Oh, I was not really considering finality. Come to me. Yeah, that's game. That's game. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Man, we we're gonna kill him the next turn. So if I would have, if I would have killed Vivian, are we still winning this anyway? Though through finality, I guess if I I need to play Ripjaw, play Ripjaw, kill Vivian. But I, I don't know if we can win this anyway. So now now Vivian just gets ultimate. I don't know. Should have played Galta. Yeah, I guess we could have just played Galta and then Galta survives. That was tough. Hmm. I want to do against Sultai. This seems like a Vivian matchup. It's certainly a Coil matchup, and I think it's a Vivian matchup. Um, yeah, this is Puppy. I don't have her on too much, but people are asking to see her, so. That, that wasn't early. Our opponent had, our opponent had Vivian Ultimate. What cards are not good in this matchup? That's what I'm trying to figure out more than what cards are good. I don't know what I want to take out. That's cut two shock for two lava coil, and that's all. All right. No Viv. All right, good night, King Toll.
Deck, why are you doing this? Hey, Jack. Thanks for that sub. All right, puppy, I'm gonna put you, go put you down. Put you back in the living room. All right, Drover can cast the Domri the next turn. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub, Jack. I really do appreciate that. Hmm. All right, so we have Domri here. The problem is, you know, this Wild Growth Walker can get really, really big and everything. Um... I think I'm gonna just have strike for the the wild growth walker. I don't have a Patreon right now. That's something that I'm uh, most likely going to add um, later on and have like goals towards uh, upping the YouTube channel and, and making more content on YouTube and stuff. Um, Gonna this is just business as usual. Alright, Dom, we're relying on you. Um, yeah, just right now all I have is, you know, just, you know, you can donate, um, contempt, huh? I should probably minus and get get some more creatures before they can tempt like my Domri here. Uh, you can donate. You can, of course, uh, you know, subscribe here, or you can also um, purchase, get a new toothbrush through Quip, get a new watch or uh, sunglass from Movement. Those are two good ways to support as well. Get yourself some awesome new products there. These go here, those go there. So yeah, that's a good good min minus on that Domri. Helps refill our hands there. Um, good minus there. Hey, Night Owl, thanks for the cheers. Hashtag charity, say hi. Okay. Surprised they didn't attack with both. A little surprised. Um... So I want to, I guess I, I do want to put the, yeah, I want to put the counter on the Reggie. Because of finality. And now Galta, Galta has haste because of Reggie. Reggie's going to have haste. Because <clears throat> of the help master. And that's it. Swinging for 20. The opponent picks it up. Good job, Galta. Um, all right, so this is our this is our plan. Domri was pretty nice there. Yeah, Domri did a lot of work. Good old Mold of Five. Hawkeye's back. Hawkeye, you didn't like getting you didn't like another pet coming in here and taking your spotlight did you
Champions. Ooh, get this memorial out of here. All right, no, no, um, wow, growth walker. Eat our own Huntmaster, um, gain the two life. We don't like really have ways to get that back. Allosaurus is a good draw. Fits our curve here. And we can make this into a 4-3. See if they have disdainful stroke. That's like one. Is that what they're holding up? Ah, they have cast down and didn't want to kill the scavenger. Cat's name is Hawkeye. What? You can't stop nature. I'm not losing everything again. Bzz, bzz. And I'm just going to eat the... We don't need to make this a... Um, we don't need to make it a 4-3, so let's just gain the two life. Eat the... Eat our own creature. Let's do this again. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye's awesome. Ugh. I'm really glad they minus the Vraska. I think they should be ticking up. There we go. Here we go. Let's go, Tyrants. Let's go. But especially us, like, you know, showing burn spells in these games, you know, lightning strikes that we've been playing all three games, they, they should be ticking up that Vraska, not minusing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Krasis gets to be a six, six. The one, one problem with Carnage Tyrant these days. Hydroid Krasis is outclassing it. Please, no more Krasis is. Had a great curve of Vivian into Vraska into Hydroid Crisis for six. But we've had Carnage Tyrant into Carnage Tyrant into Carnage Tyrant. Yeah, Green Memorial um, three and sack it to look at the top five cards of your library and then you can put a creature from among them into your hand. So basically you get to yeah, look at look at top five and put a creature in. Carnage Tyrants, what some lucky top deck there with another Carnage Tyrant. Opponent, opponent can't handle it. No more crises for them. They they had one, but they did not have any more. Alright, two and one. GG's. Facing Cthulhu. Hawkeye, okay, we're facing Cthulhu. All right, I'll take it. Yeah, and Angrath. Yeah. I always got to kill this Wild Growth Walker on turn one. It's a beating for us. Or uh, on turn two, sorry. 
So even though it's you know better to curve with the Huntmaster, we just have to kill that. We can't let them have that thing grow out of control. Cthulhu, I would instant concede. <laughs> Quasi duplicate Carnage Tyrant would be nice. That could be a fun deck. The Quasi duplicate Carnage Tyrant deck. So I, I would like Scavenger to be able to eat that Krasis. If I if I do not trade here, and if I attack with the Scavenger and eat the Krasis, then they get to block with the 2-1. So I'm only trading with the 2-1 instead of the 4-3. I think... I kind of feel like since we have Carnage Tyrant, we're supposed to keep the battlefield kind of clear. But... It's not good against find. So do we, do we, basically do we trade with Krasis and Graveyard and this 2-1 or the 4-3? What do we want to trade with? If we're playing Ripjaw next turn, Ripjaw trades with both of these. If I, if I attack with Scavenger and, and eat the 2-1, then Ripjaw can't trade with both of those. Go this way. Could certainly be a find to get it back. This thing out of here. No find for you. At least not with the crisis. You can have the crabby jade light or whatever. Yeah, you could probably play a land deck like that for for some fun. Wow. I am. That's a good removal spell for us to see. Moomark with the cheers. Thanks for the bits, Moomark. Where's our where's my cheers emo? There we go. Cheers. Figured if they have more removal, it's probably something, it's probably like another trophy uh, for how they fired off a trophy last turn. Alright, now they're looking through their graveyard. Get that fine finality. They would only make that attack for fine finality. You can block with everything to kill a Carnage Tyrant.
Hey, Yud. Yeah, Versati. Of course you can ask me a question. That's what I'm here for. To answer questions. Um... <laughs> no, where's off Unity didn't play so bad. Um, two and two is, is certainly respectable. It's a respectable record for sure. Um. Uh, yeah, I just I don't I don't work for SEG anymore. So there's find. They. Ugh. So yeah, you you won't find me on the versus series anymore. Yeah, that Assassin's Trophy play really did help us win. That really did. All right, so same sideboard as last time. Let's bring in these two coils for the two shocks. Call it a day. Craig, so uh, no, if if Regisaur Alpha would have if they would have had a removal spell for Regisaur Alpha before combat, then the Carnage Tyrant would not have had haste. Um, the Alpha needs to be on the battlefield for the Carnage Tyrant to have haste there. So we like the community the communes get us lands, right? Um we are weak to WoW Growth Walker, immediate WoW Growth Walker. We are weak to that. But this should find, we can find a red source somewhere. There we go. We still have turn two Huntmaster. Ugh. They had, they had the WoW Growth Walker, the card that we were weak to. That's bad. Um, no, so like, it's not like the like the haste of, like. Basically, it's not like the haste is like a one-time thing that's just applying once. It's something that, um, is like always happening. Like the the creature always has haste with Registor on the battlefield, but when Registor is not on the battlefield, the creature doesn't have, the dinosaur doesn't have haste anymore. Oh, come on, lightning strike. Why you do this? Um, I need a fourth land. I mean, I would I would like Reggie, but we need land to these tyrants. We have some strikes and coils in the deck. Come on.
Did you just call me scrawny? Oh, yeah. And done. Everything's in the right place. All right. Hopefully Domery can gain us a little bit of life. Thing that we were weak to with this hand was a you know a wild growth filed by a whole lot of explorers and unfortunately that's what our opponent had. Yeah, Domri's gonna die. Especially I'm I'm really glad they're attacking like with wild growth walker at Domri. Um, certainly glad that that they're doing those attacks. Um, the the scavenger, like I, I kind of still want to trade scavenger for jade light honestly. But I guess we'll just let them die. Like I am, I am thrilled that they again. attacked with with all those at at Domri. Yeah, Domer did great for us with gaining gaining eleven life and drawing two cards. Every fight makes me stronger. We really need no that one life. Knows the wilds like I do. Sad part is they can they can just throw away a disdainful stroke and still be just fine. All right, so let's have Galta attack Vivian. Get that thing out of there. I always survive. You'll see. Get some more D. Yeah, the, the Galta already just only cost two mana. We didn't we didn't really need to re reduce it again. Um, I like getting this other creature black back to play some D. All right, so Krasis is their last card. So they're looking at like a Krasis for five right now. Um, what kind of attacks do I want to make? I mean, I I do want to attack with this Carnage Tyrant. And we can see how our opponent blocks. We can save it with Lightning Strike. All right, this will make the Scavenger only cost one mana. And we'll take this Jade Light. Wild animals I like. People? Not so. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Versati, what do you mean, how much for Sultai? How much what? Like what? I'm not sure what you mean. Um... So, I'm attacking with the two Carnage Tyrants. It's just where to attack them. I'm certainly sending one at Vivian. It's just do we send them both at Vivian? Or do we send one at Vivian, one at them?
so I'm not sure about. Okay, for me to play it? Oh, okay. Um, just a regular donation deck. Uh, $20 for donation decks. Um, that's a good call. Well, I'm probably going to want to bolt this Thief of Sanity, though, right? I'll be back, just like before. Carnage Tyrant. Um, want to attack with these scavengers also? What if I attack with the scavengers also? I guess the opponent just picks it up, just scoops it up. Even with them having that wow growth walker and everything. Still got there. Still got there. We did draw it very well. The Domery was clutch. They made a bad attack by sending everything at Domery, for sure. They they really did need to do that. Um, and then uh, they made the bad disdainful stroke of countering our Carnage Tyrant. Um, If you want to get more value out of your donation deck, if, if you're thinking about doing a donate, this is for anybody in the chat, if you're thinking about doing a, a $20 donation deck, um, consider for only $25, you can sign up for Quip using my link for Quip. You get a free donation deck. Um, so for only an extra $5, you also get um, an amazing toothbrush uh, mailed to you. Um, and also with, with a tooth, you know, Electric toothbrush, toothpaste. Um, you get a free refill of a brush head and toothbrush. Or sorry, brush head and extra tube of toothpaste sent to you um, in three months as well. So I want to take the fourth land, I think. I guess, well, we have Drover. Maybe we should just be taking the Carnage Tyrant against Blue Deck. Yeah, that's great value. And if we get two more people to sign up for Quip, we, whoops, two more people, uh, we're doing a 12-hour stream to celebrate. We're only two away. So we got three lands in hand plus this Drover. Domery, of course, can add man if we get there. Let's take the Carnage Tyrant. Let's go, let's go big. Hey, what's up, nerd girl? You been playing any uh, best of one? recently for that mythic championship nerd girl and if so how's that going yet it's better it's better value to save for draft Well, practice makes perfect, though. Um, it would it would not surprise me if Quip was good for the environment too. I guess I don't know that for sure, so I don't want to say you know definitely is or anything like that. 
Um, I guess I want a double lightning strike on their upkeep. Alright, well that was easy. Don't Tempest Jimmy. Okay, good. You can play that thing. They're like not countering stuff. They are not countering stuff. Ah, <sighs> it's a beautiful day for chaos. So if I minus three, if they have Trickster, uh, they kill the Domri. Add to the pool, add to the pain. Which I do not want to happen, because I want to be able to play Carnage Tyrant next turn with haste. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did Dutch. Yeah, you ordered. Um. A while ago, right? And yeah, yeah, I got or yeah, I got credit for yours. Yep. <laughs> this ain't gonna be one of those quiet riots. So, I messed up there. Sorry, I was kind of talking and, and stuff. I, I didn't add mana with the Drover, and so since I didn't add mana with the Drover, I didn't I wasn't able to um, cast the Carnage or or double Scavenger. I just clicked OK. Yeah, I didn't tap the Drover for mana. So we just threw out the Ripjaw there. We're still in a, on, in a wonderful spot and feeling very confident about this game. Power can go a long way. But that certainly would have been a lot better to play the Carnage Tyrant the previous turn. They, of course, can take out Carnage Tyrant with a double block. Um, they may want to send their Jin at Domri to get rid of Domri. Yeah, doesn't always work out how you want. Oh. Do not like seeing another Tempest Jin. All right, we're not nearly as good a spot now. So this attack does take out Wizard's Lightning. Wizard's Lightning can't counter these things anymore. Let's eat creatures first. Gain that life, but then cuz I want to I want these to be able to attack as 4/3s. So, I want to leave spells in the graveyard to be able to attack his 4-3s. Man, all these Tempest Gens. Seriously? Every single Tempest Gen? Yeah, our opponent played the one essence capture. And three mana, six, four flyers. Pretty rough.
don't know, maybe they'll be too scared to attack. Coil, collision. I do like Spellbreaker too. Domri out. Um. Maybe I guess I'm. I guess I'm just not playing Spellbreaker. I mean, I like three mana four four. I think three mana four four is good. Uh, we were we were not winning that, even with the extra seven damage in. I don't I don't think we were beating all those flyers. They they were huge like that. <clears throat> I don't think we were, had enough there. If the Carnage Tyrant came down a, a turn earlier and dealt another 7 damage. Still don't think we win that. Um, I'm not sure what I want to take out, though. I really do like all these cards. Um... I guess I'm not playing Spellbreaker. No Reggie. New scavenger. Reggie just because it's expensive. I mean scavenger is good. Like a lot of these cards are good. They're just not. Maybe I'm just have too much removal. I do like Carnage Tyrant in this matchup. Countering spells is so important for the opponent. Hey, Baloney Pony. Turn four, Carnage Tyrant. All right, well, I should probably just kill that thing. So in instead of going Carnage Tyrant, they're tapped out. Let's go Regisaur Alpha and Stomp. Stomp the gin. I guess maybe I should have done the have the three three stomp. I don't know why I was thinking the, the gin was a four four, but it was a three four. Ah, oh, loses all abilities. It's not gonna give my carnage tyrant haste. Yeah, that was turn four. Turn four, Reggie with removal. That's certainly strong. Reggie with removal. Uh, let's start with Commune. Hmm. Don't really need a scavenger. I guess starting with Commune. I don't know why I was thinking that I had an extra mana because like the the removal, but. We have to just play this thing anyway. All right, so no, no haste for Carnage Tyrant. So let's not let them know about Carnage Tyrant before they make this block. I'm 
Drovers are certainly getting in next turn. Um, you know, we got our three three threes and the seven six that are all going to be coming in. So now we can basically pay for everything. We did clean a bunch of lands off the top. Again, opponent had like no counter spells. Both games. And they just had a bunch of creatures here. Also, whenever we're dropping Carnage Tired and they're just dropping like Miscloak Heralds, it's certainly a good sign for us. Sleep? Nope. All right, if we get the other Reggies back in. If we get those in. Am I taking out Scavengers? I like how Scavenger can gain some life. It can tussle with a Tempest Gen. Got Galta? I feel like Galta is, is a card that can help us win races. I don't think Galta's a cut. Because he's taking out Ripjaw Raptor. Yeah, I like Trim and Ripjaw Raptor. Yeah, we're on the draw, so we're it's a chance that we're going to be behind, and we need some big effect that uh, steals the game for us, and that's exactly what Galta is. Well, I'm, I'm glad this is Galta and not Ripjaw Raptor. Like, if, if this was just Ripjaw, and we just had this plus Ripjaw Ripjaw, that wouldn't be very exciting, but the Galta is a lot more exciting. Um, so yeah, let's go and give it a try. Whoops. Hit some wrong button. All right, sorry, I closed out the chat there for a second. So if you just sent a message, um, I didn't see it. Let me test this out. There we go. Anything after my hand wave, now I can see. Why is this doing this? There we go. Anything after my... Well... Now I have to go back. Oh, I meant to play Stomping Ground. We'll see what our opponent's got. So, let's take the extra land. Yeah, let's take the land. I mean, Carnage Tyrant is, is going to be vital here. Our, our opponent's just chilling with a bunch of counter magic this game. No, this is a donation deck. This is a, a viewer submitted list. Eh. 
And we gotta start playing our our spells. Wow. 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 Opponent, what are you doing over there? All right, when am I actually casting this collision? What are y'all? What are y'all thinking? Um, just throwing down Reggie, or trying to collision this Jin? If the Ripjaw Raptor resolves, they they shouldn't have a counter for a creature, right? So that's looking at like dive down and um, dive down and spell pierce. And negate, it's like cards. Um, if we shock, so if we shock to play Reggie, we go down to fifteen. This thing's a three-turn clock. Like Alpha plus attack. All right, so yeah, let's go Alpha. So attacking with the three-three doesn't make a lot of sense, right? So let's let's attack with the Ripjaw first and just see what our opponent does, and then play Alpha. See if they want to trade with like Tempest Jin. Because they could potentially block with Tempest Jin and then dive down their, their Jin. And then if, if they had that, then we'd have the collision uh, to be able to kill the Jin. I'm certainly not expecting this to get countered since Ripjaw didn't get countered last turn. Could have another trickster. If they have another trickster. Why didn't they just last turn just tap my ripjaw and attack in with their trickster and draw a card and hmm. Deal another three. I guess they wanted to keep their mana up to protect Jin. I guess that's why. They want to keep mana up. Yeah, we can collision and Galta next turn. Uh, no haste, though. I can still just play Galta. Oh, but Galta's not going to have haste. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so we'll cast the other Reggie, get the other Dino, attack on in here. Yeah, thanks. Right underneath you, Vertov boot put you, put the link there for you. Um, that's where you can see all the decks that I play. That's where you can see all the decks. If you ever miss any of the videos and you want to see the replays, you can always go. You can always find all of the decks I play on my YouTube channel, youtubecom slash Um If you ever want to see any of the previous decks uh, from previous days and everything, um, this is what I do each and every day from three to ten Eastern time. Draw a card. Land? Oh, that's a useful card. That is a useful card. So land next turn would be our best, where we could have, like, Collision Colossus plus Galta plus Lightning Strike. Um, that would certainly be the best. Okay. How do I want to sequence these? 
Um, let's say let's say Galta. Let's say I start with Galta and Galta gets countered. Um, we have a lot of power still. They just like block Ripjaw, block Reggie. We give one of these trample. Yeah, so we're we're still fine even if it gets countered. Oh yeah, Registrar Off is a lot, a whole lot better than Rhythm. I mean, because it just goes with our deck. Please don't have a Trickster. Okay. We just don't, we don't need to make any moves with these right now. Like our opponent's taking, you know, very lethal. We kind of force that, force them to do stuff. I'm not playing the Tyrant because I, I want these things on defense. Because, so, like, our opponent's going to need something with this card to keep us from winning. And so whatever this card... If this card does keep us from winning, I'm going to want... Like, I want the ability to still save myself and not maybe not take three. Be able to have, like, collision to be able to kill the Tempest Gin kind of thing. I think their cards dive down. Oh, they can stack the Storm Tamer. That's fine. Alright, now we're going to do Colossus, the Alpha. Give it Trample. So that's 8. And then 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Plus the other seven from over there, so 21. I guess they were still taking lethal even if I didn't do that. <laughs> even without this extra eight. So four and one. Uh, donation traditionals, like that's what I that's what I do play is traditional constructed. If that's if that's what you mean. Um, all right, four and one. Y'all know what that means. We are our last match. Jelly Tug's got it. We are on to the final boss. Here we go. Either we win, and we got five wins set, or we lose, and we are eliminated. Yeah, the 12 12 had trample. Yep. Murderous Moppet with the sub. Welcome to the channel, Murderous Moppet. Thank you so much for that support. Enjoy all the awesome emotes. All right, making a thumbnail for Orzov Unity. And the real Horatio. With the resub there. Hope y'all are getting those hypos in the chat. Go, Ripjaws, go. Okay. Alright, what's our opponent got over here? Good. Nothing. Big bag of nothing.
Oh, uh, Murderous Mafia was the gift sub from Matthew. Thank you, Matthew, for that for that gift sub. That was really kind. And then uh, randomly pick someone. Okay. And then Real Horatio said, sup, sup fam. Thanks for the stream. It helps me focus while I meal prep and clean on Sundays. You're welcome, Real Horatio. So that gets us to 13 subs of the day. Do I have that number right? Yes, 13. This is this is looking like a Jurassic Park with all these raptors attacking. Okay, what do you go to? Come here. Tomri's been pretty good for us in this league. It's been it's been pretty good. It was like the reason why we beat Sultai earlier. Boom. That Terramander could not handle the rest of Jurassic Park. So, uh, we're playing Drakes. A um, little different. Let's still get Collision and Coil. I guess it's like Phoenix. So, if they're playing... You don't usually see Terramander and... Um, and the Tutu, right? Um, because then if, if they're playing Electromancer and Terramander, presumably they have Arclight Phoenix and Crackling Drake, and that's a whole lot of creatures. That's 16 creatures. Usually they play like 12, right? No, we need to keep Scavenger because they're probably playing Phoenix, so we want to keep this. Um, I this is not a matchup for Domri, though. I, I am certainly willing to take Domri out of this matchup. Um, yeah, right, Terramander usually means Drake and Goblin usually means Phoenix. So you don't see Terramander and Goblin together. That's why this is we this is weird. Like are they just not playing Drake? Are they just going Terramander, Drake, Phoenix? Who knows? Anyway, what am I sideboarding out? Um I think I'm going to take out Savage Stomp. Because I could see, like, Savage Stomp, like, not killing Crackling Drakes kind of thing. And I'm going to trim on these Shocks. I know Shock is great against... I guess Shock's better than Strike, though. Yeah, Shock's better than Strike. I'm killing the 2-2 two -two or the 1-1. Yeah, that's true, and Scavenger can remove Jumpstart as well. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen an, the deck with Electromancer and not Phoenix. I'm just certainly imagining they're going to have Phoenix since they have Electromancer. Yeah, so Phoenix and Terramander with no Drakes. So... Yeah, so maybe it's just not Drake, and they have Terramander instead of Drake. I can see that. Who knows? Maybe they have them all. Who knows? Maybe this is an Enigma Drake here. You never know. Come on, surveil over a Phoenix for me. Now they're keeping all their cards. Oh, uh, no, don't kill my Huntmaster. Alright, Huntmaster down. Let's start eating these. There is the Phoenix. Kill. It's 
So they we so we've seen all four creatures: Crackling Drake, Phoenix. Electromancer and Terramander. Right, their hands matched up against ours pretty well. Collision. So if I play Carnage Tyrant, I don't get to attack with the Carnage Tyrant. It's just more damage for us to play the Reggie first. So Carnage Tyrant will still have haste. So like Carnage Tyrant's not attacking until next turn anyway. This allows us to attack for three this turn. Um, an extra three this turn. And, you know, be able to have the Reggie attack next turn also. But it doesn't matter, we don't have another turn. See, I don't think cutting Galta in the speed matchups is what you want. I think that's like this is the point of having Galta in the deck, is because it's good in the speed matchups, like against Mono Blue also. Um, Reggie didn't look great against Reggie's not great against Lava Coil. I'm keeping this the same though. Go with this. Lightning Strike kills Terramander and Goblin Electromancer. Um, and can also just kind of change the race. You can get rid of a Phoenix for a turn. This looks good. The problem with Savage Stop is. Um. I, mean, I guess I can, you know, I can Savage Stomp the smaller things. But Savage Stomp against Crackling Drake's not great. Cindervines is meretricious. It's going to do a whole lot less than you think it's going to do. Really wish I could double spell. I really want to play the Hunt Master this turn, but I also really want to shock this Electromancer. I think I'm going to shock. Yeah. Amount of mana the Electromancer grants him is just simply too much. If we draw a land, we can still just go Hunt Master plus Scavenger. Hunt Master is not the kind of card that you have to untap with, because um, you know it. It just gives the the creature haste. Or sorry, so sorry, sorry. Uh, makes the creature cost one less. One less. It's not like a a mana a mana thing that you need to untap with. They still had Spell Pierce in the deck. I, wanna, I do want to hit their spell count, though, because of Terramander.
Get another land and play Carnage Tyrant next turn. All right, well, we still have Ripshaw. Bell, make a four three. I mean, it's, Death Court is bad. It's a it's a four mana fourth or sorry a three mana four three that you know eats a card each turn from the opponent's graveyard and still you know three mana four three. Trade it uh, trades with the Crackling Drake. It's not so bad. Come on, land. Land, please. Oh, baby. Go, Carnage Tyrant, go. So five five and eight four. Those things are big. Galta! Dang, I really need a Galta. If I attack out, how are they blocking? Terramander blocks Ripjaw. Crackling Drake blocks Carnage Tyrant. They could maybe just take seven from Carnage Tyrant and just go eat, eat, and go down to three. Good. That's that's the block I wanted them to do. I wanted Crackling Drake out of here. So Crackling Drake's the card that kills us. And Ripjaw still cycles. So I, like even though that the Ripjaw is dead, it still cycles and gets us closer to you know finding a Galta or another Carnage Tyrant. <laughs> yeah, we are not here to hang out with Dinos on defense. That's true. Yeah, the dinos can't block. Might as well. So, can I call for a, a Carnage Tyrant or a Galta? Why can't I kick you? Hmm. So do I want to wait to turn to kick this Allosaurus, or do I want to just play it and attack? Um, having an attack, it just trades with the Terramander. No disdainful stroke. Seriously? Ionize? What are you doing? What are you doing over here, opponent? Ionize? Fallon Phoenix with the donation deck. Alright, let's see what we got here from Phoenix. There's no arc lights over here, are there? No, good. Hey Todd, love your stream and your runs at Majors. Keep up the great work. This Grixis control list is something I've been doing work with in Diamond. May Lord Bolas bring you fortune. All 
All right, here's the Grixis list here. All right, what, what day and what time would you like me to play that list? Phoenix. Yeah, so, you know, I can play it tomorrow, uh, the next day, the next day, you know, any deck, any day you want, <clears throat> any time you want. Our opponent's at three life. Uh, lightning Strike deals three damage to any target. Any target? Even to fairy? Yep. Looks like it checks out. Convenient amount of life. Conveni convenient amount of damage. And there we go. Five win dream with dinos. It was looking bad. We were... <laughs> Why not kill the Terramander there? <laughs> um. <clears throat> it was looking really bad for us. We were uh, one and one, and we lost game one to Sultai, and then we mulled to five with them keeping a seven. And it was looking really bad. Um, but Domri uh, pulled it through. Domri minus and got us a, a Registor Alpha and a Galta, and then they attacked for like. 11 damage at Domri. <laughs> After when Domri's at 2 loyalty, just an unnecessary attack. And then the Alpha and Galta stole it, especially the Galta stole it. And um, yeah, then we kind of kept on winning and went, went on to 5 1 there. Um, yeah, you can find the Esper deck list here. And you can also find the video on the YouTube channel. Hey, Joy, with the $20 donation for a great job there. Thank you, Joy. Thank you. Yeah, this is so this is Joy's deck here. This Joy's Dino deck and and it plays really good. You know, it's nice and aggressive and um you know, you got to got to be attacking. Um So, yeah, it worked everything worked really well here. You know, this is the same 75 we played last time. And, um, you know, kind of glad we didn't change anything. Like, our, our numbers worked out, and you, know, you can just kind of see, like, how much pressure these things attack with. They attack for so much. You know, opponents think that they are stable, and then suddenly here comes Hasted Register Alphas and Carnage Tyrants and Galtas. And, yeah, it's a pretty cool deck. Um... So there we go. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, um, uh, thanks for watching, one. Two, hope you hit that uh, subscribe button over there. We, we got over the 1800 mark today. So whenever we get to 2000, we'll be doing a 12 hour stream to celebrate that. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you for the next video. Have a good night.